Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to show you how I integrate my MeBleep anode synthesizer into working with Reaper. This is a digital synth with a analog filter. It has MIDI in, power, audio out. And the way I like to use it in Reaper is to use the reinsert plugin to send MIDI out a Reaper, return the audio back on the same track. And then when I want to record it, I route that to a new track and record its output. So in Reaper, I'm going to show you the uh, MIDI devices setup. I have the Behringer BCF 2000 port three set to uh, enable output and I'm sending clock to it. Not really important for this, but uh, just in general, anytime you want to sync something to a MIDI port, you want to have that checked. Okay, I'm going to close this and I've got some MIDI already recorded on this track, but it's not going anywhere yet. I'm going to insert the reinsert plugin and then call up a preset. Okay. So now there's no audio coming from the track. It's sending MIDI, this MIDI, out to port three, connected to the port on the synthesizer, coming back on inputs one and two of my audio interface. I'm going to turn this off and then hit ping detect and let it determine the correct latency for this. Which is pretty high, but uh, it will work. All right, so I'm going to arm this recording, put on MIDI from my Nocturne channel one. Which is quite delayed. Sometimes you have to start to start and stop playback sometimes. So you can see my hand. Okay. So I'm going to play it back. Don't actually need it record enabled, but if I was playing it, I would record enable it. We can just play it back and it'll go through this port. So let's say we're happy with this sound and we want to record it. I'm going to turn loop off, going to Make a time selection like like this. Insert a new track. I'm going to take the routing from this track and to this track. Bring it up to full. You can close this. Set this track to record output stereo. Record arm it. Give it a name. And remember that panning, fader, any effects on this track will all affect the sound that will get printed onto that WAV file. So I'm going to leave the fader at Unity. I'm going to keep the panning where it is, no plugins. And it's just going to be this track coming out into this track. One thing I should do so we don't hear it doubled is I'm going to option click this, the routing button, so that we're not hearing the output of this track. We're just hearing the output of this track after it's recorded. Go into record. Zoom in here. You can see it's pretty close to perfectly in time. Uh, now we can disable this. We can mute this track, and we won't get any uh, doubled sounds. And now we have a WAV file of that MIDI performance through this hardware synthesizer. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you guys can use this. Don't be afraid of external hardware in your home studio. Uh, it makes things a lot of fun. And there's just a little bit of tricky stuff to get to uh, get it working within your DAW. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out ReaperBlog.net for lots more tutorials.